Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Mr. Gala HD and welcome back to RuneScape. Today we are going to be doing the Romeo and Juliet quest. So it is in Varok, which is here in the whole map. And uh, what you want to do is you want to come down this path. And we are going to be looking for Romeo. It has no requirements, so you can just start it off the bat. But we need to start with Romeo in the central square by the fountain. There's the fountain. And there's Romeo. Let's examine him, see what he says. Oh, we'll see what it says after. Blub, blub. Blub, 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 blub. He's a fish. Where is my Juliet? Have you seen her? No, sorry, I haven't seen her. Okay, so here is Romeo. Let's talk to him. Looking for a blonde girl. Goes by the name of Juliet. Quite pretty. Haven't seen her, have you? No, sorry, I haven't seen her. Oh, well, that's a shame. I was rather hoping you had. Why? Is she a fugitive? Does she owe you some money or something? Hmm, she might do. Perhaps she does. How do you know? I don't know, I was just asking you how you know Juliet. Ah, yes, Juliet, she's my one true love. Well, one of my one true loves. If you see her, could you tell her that she is the love of my long and that I life to be with her? What? Okay. What? Surely you mean that she is the love of your life and that you long to be with her? Oh yeah, what you said. Tell her that. It sounds much better. Oh, you're so good at this. Start the quest. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. I'll let her know. Oh, great. And tell her that I want to kiss her a give. You mean you want to give her a kiss? Oh, you're good. You are good. I see I've picked a true professional. Where can I find Juliet? Why do you ask? So that I can try and find her for you. Ah, yes, quite right. Hmm, let me think now. She may still be locked away at her father's house in the cest vide of Warrock. Oh, I remember how she loved it when I would sing up to her balcony. She would reward me with her own personal items. What, she just gave you her stuff? <laughs> well, not exactly give, more like throw with considerable force. She's always a kid of that, Juliet. Is there anything else you can tell me about Juliet? Oh, there is so much to tell. She is my true love. We intend to spend together forever. I can tell you so much about her. Great. Um, so much can I tell you? Yes. So much to tell. Why? Where do I start? Yes, yes. Please go on. Don't let me interrupt. Um, you can't remember, can you? Not a thing, sorry. Okay, thanks. Right. Okay, so we need to speak to her. So, I am actually up to that part of my main account, so I will switch. So, I will be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I am up to the same part of my main account. So, west of Varrock. So, I mean, I know where it is, but I'm just going to zoom out. So, west is that way. So, it could be anywhere down there, basically. Oh, it's obviously not the bank or the cooks guild. Okay, so it can either be there or there because it's not the cooks or the bank. So, let's go to... The North House. I mean, they, they mentioned a balcony. Evil Bob. Okay. I do not see a Juliet anywhere. Let's speak to this guy. What are you doing here, snooping about? 
I've come to see Juliet on Romeo's behalf. What? What? Romeo? Why that good-for-nothing swine? He's always trying to get the affections of my daughter. That soppy half brain nincompoop won't ever have the heart of my daughter. She deserves someone of character, wit and repose, say. What's so wrong about Romeo? <laughs> wrong? <laughs> What's wrong with him? Have you actually talked to him? He's nothing but a dim-witted upper-class twit. Totally useless. If he threw a stone at the ground, he'd probably miss. He's totally invisible when it's raining <laughs> because it's so wet. <laughs> if you started with what's right with him, you'd have much less to consider. Well, I admit he's probably not the sharpest knife in the cutlery drawer. Sharp? I've seen Kina wit in... Oh, Kina wit in root vegetables. Anyway, stop changing the subject. Get out of here and don't think you can sneak up those stairs to see Juliet because I'll catch you and then you'll be for it. That seems a bit harsh. Harsh, but fair. I think you'll find. Now get out. Let's see what he... S Let's see what he says when I just say I'm just coming to have a chat with Juliet. What on earth about? I hope you're not in cahoots with that good for nothing Romeo. Uh, no, of course not. Why would I be? He's been trying to woo my daughter for an age. Up until now, he's she's had the good sense to just ignore him. I just don't know what's gotten into her recently, so that she would give him the time of day. Well, love is mysterious. Perhaps one day someone may even learn to love you. What? Someone may fall in love with me. What are you trying to insinuate? Uh, nothing. I guess I'd just be better going now. Let's see what happens if I go upstairs. Oh, it lets me. That's not her. Is that her? No, that's a player. What's the player doing up there? Ah, there she is. Can't be right, though. Did that guy climb up, like, the balcony or something? Hmm. Because the guy said that he didn't want me going upstairs, but I've just walked upstairs. Like, what? Alright, talk to Julia. Juliet, I come from Ro Romeo. He begs me to tell you that he cares still. Oh, how my heart soars to hear this news. Please take this message to him with great haste. Well, I hope it's good news. He was quite upset when I left him. He's quite often upset, the poor sensitive soul, but I don't think he's going to take this news very well. However, all is not lost. Everything is explained in the letter. Would you be so kind and deliver it to him in person? Certainly, I'll do it. I'll do so straight away. Many thanks. Oh, I'm so very grateful. You may be our only hope. Juliet gives you a message. Can I read it? No, I can't read it. That's a shame. Alright, so we need to go back. Back the way we go. Romeo, great news. I've been in touch with Juliet. She's written a message for you. Oh, a message, a message. I've never had a message before. Really? No, 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 not one. Well, well, except for the occasional court summons. But they're not really nice messages. Not like this one. I'm sure that this message will be lovely. Well, are you going to open it or not? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Dearest Romeo, I am very pleased that you sent Mega Morton to look for me and to tell me that you still hold affliction. Affliction? She thinks I'm diseased. Affection? Ah, yes, still holds affection for me. I still feel great affection for you, but unfortunately my father opposes our marriage. Oh dear, that doesn't sound too good. What? Great affection for you? Father opposes our marriage and will will kill you if he sees you again? I have to be honest, it's not getting any better. Our only hope is that Father Lawrence, our longtime confidant, can help us in some way. Well, that's it then. We haven't got a chance. What about Father Lawrence? Our love is over. The great romance, the, lo 
life of my love. Or you could just speak to Father Lawrence. Oh, my aching, breaking heart. How useless the situation is now. We have no one to turn to. Father Lawrence. Father Lawrence? Ah, yes. Father Lawrence. He's our long-time confidant. He might have a solution. Yes, yes. You have to go and talk to Father Lawrence for us and ask him if he's got any suggestions for a pred predicament. Where can I find Father Lawrence? Lava Florence. You know he's not my real father, don't you? I think I suspected that he wasn't. Well, anyway, he tells these tells these song Loring Bermans and keeps these here Karokian Vitisons snoring in his church to the east north. Okay. Where can I? Okay, yeah. Uh, wait, wait. let's just check the quest log. So north east, okay. Uh, it should be there. Unless he's at home. Let's keep running this way. Past the museum. I think we're going a bit too east here. Hello, Mr. Imp. Ah, yes, we can go in. Didn't realise that door was open. There's Lava Florence. And let Saradomin light the way for you. Ugh, can't you see I'm in the middle of a sermon? But Romeo sent me. But I'm busy delivering a sermon to my congregation. Z -z 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 -z. Yes, well, it certainly seems like you have a captive audience. Okay, okay, what do you want so I can get rid of you and continue my sermon? Romeo sent me. He says you might be able to help. Ah, Romeo, yes, a fine lad, but a little bit confused. Yes, very confused. Anyway... Romeo wishes to be married to Juliet. She must be rescued from her father's control. I agree. And I think I have an idea. A potion to make her appear dead. Dead? Sounds a bit creepy to me, but please continue. The potion will only make Juliet appear dead, then she'll be taken to the crypt. Crypt? Again, very creepy. You must have some strange hobbies. <laughs> Then Romeo can collect her from the crypt. Go to the apothecary, tell him I sent you, and that you'll need a cadaver potion. Apart from the strong overtones of death, this is turning out to be a real love story. Right. So now we need to... Oh, forgot about that. Now we need to go to... Uh, do, 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 let's see, sorry. Oh yeah, apothecary. Alright. Wait, won't Romeo all know that where the apothecary is? No, I'm pretty sure I can figure that out. It's the herb shape. Which is... If I'm not too blind... Eh? Maybe I am blind. Wait, what? So there is no herbalist in Varrock. That's interesting. Okay. Looks like we do this the long way round. Back to Romeo we go. Hello again, Romeo. Ooh, did you manage to survive one of Laffa Florence's sermons? I bet not. You were ages. I bet you snoozed on the welcome mat just as soon as you heard his voice. Did not. 
Oh, come on, come on, what did he say? He wants me to go to the apothecary. The apothecary? Oh, is he the one who mixes up all them magical potion-y things? Yeah, I think so, but the word potion-y doesn't exist. Well, you just used it, so I guess it does exist. <laughs> oh, I should do that on my friends sometime, what the hell? It does matter, it doesn't matter. Do you know where the apothecary is? Why should I tell you? Because I'm doing you a favour. Right, yes, of course. Well, I think the potion-y place is wealth cest of here and near a sword shop. He seems very keen for you to marry Juliet. Me too, can't wait. Do you think it'll be soon? I don't know, but I, I'll do what I can. It just seems a bit odd that Father Lawrence is so keen for you to marry. I can't imagine why he's so keen, though. He was our messenger before you. Of course, he had a lot more hair back then, and I think we may have gone to school together. What, since you were kids? Yeah, thinking about it now, we called him Diddy Dorrance back then. So maybe he just wants a bit of peace, and when you two are married, he won't have to traipse around delivering your messages anymore? Yes, the years haven't been good with him. Okay, thanks. Right, so we need to go to the sword. Uh, which is that? What, the cooking place? Now we'll go there anyway. Alright. Alright, okay, so let's speak to. Or is it here? Oh, Apothecary, yeah. Oh, Water Place. Oh, what does it equal on the map? Oh, okay, so it's not a herbalist, it's the apot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay. I'm an officially an idiot. So let's speak to the Apothecary. I'm the Apothecary, I brew potions. Do you need anything specific? Can you make potions for me? Uh, what? Hold on, give me a second, give me a second. What am I doing here? I need to find the apothecary to make a Calabar potion. Maybe Romeo will know where the apothecary is, but I found it. Okay, so talk to him. Oh, tell me about, talk about something else. Ah, there we go. Do you know how to make a potion? Hair fall out, wow. Okay, uh, talk about Romeo and Juliet. Apothecary. Father Lawrence sent me. I need a Cadavar potion to help Romeo and Juliet. Cadavar potion? It's pretty nasty and hard to make. Wing of rat, tail of frog, ear of snake, and horn of dog. I have all that, but I need some Cadavar berries. You will have to find them while I get the rest ready. Bring them here when you have them, but be careful, they are nasty. What do these berries look like? They're a nice bright pink colour, with green leaves, stalks, and a pale brown colour. You can't miss them. They look pretty nasty, uh, tasty, but I wouldn't advise eating them. Where can I get these berries? I think I saw some recently in the local vicinity. Oh yes, that's right. There was a little bit of commotion when some kids visited the southeastern Varrock mining pit. The trip was disrupted because some kids had found some calabar berries, bushes, um, and they started picking them. They wrapped that trip up pretty quickly. How are these berries dangerous? Hmm, they're generally okay, but if handled improperly, they can be a bit nasty, and I certainly wouldn't advise drinking the potion. Okay, thanks. It doesn't sound very good, does it? Oh. Alright, so let's look at the quest log. He said southeast, didn't he? A mining place could be there. I might have to get a guide up for this because he didn't properly explain. He just said mining place and such and such. Uh, not too familiar on this.
I need to get... Alright. I will uh, skip to where it is. Okie dokie. We have found the Calabar bushes. It is located here on the map. All the way from here. Uh, let's take a few handfuls of these. No berries on the bushes. Can you eat them by themselves? No, you can't. What happens if we examine poisonous berries? Alright, let's take a few more. Alright, six of them. That's fine. All we want to do is run all the way back to the apothecary. And get this potion. Let's walk through these scary wizards that always seem to attack me whenever I go through them. As you noticed, my health has gone down a bit because of these people. But you do not show fear or weakness, so you walk right through the middle of them. Notice how they didn't attack me then. Alright. So, we now need to talk to this guy. Do do do. Talk about something else. Talk about Romeo and Juliet. Well done, you have the berries. You hand over the berries, which the apothecary shakes up in a vial of strange liquid. Phew, here is what you need. The apothecary gives you a Calavar potion. Now, from what I've heard, you can actually get a few more, which is what I'm going to be doing. Just, just a handful of them, you know. Totally not exploiting. Oh god, damn it! Wrong button. That's what I get. That's karma. Alright, I'll skip through this. Okie dokie, so we have all of our potions. Now we just run back to Romeo. You only need one, by the way. I just decided to make five extra. Alright. There is Romeo. Romeo spots the Calavar potion. Ooh, that's the potion, is it? Rather you than me. I'm not drinking it, it's for Juliet. Well, I mean, it's probably delicious and not dangerous at all. And you quite often see harmless drinks in a glowing sort of pink colour. Hmm, I'm not convinced. Maybe you ought to try some before I give it to Juliet. Ugh, no way. Not in a million years. Okay, but you know what to do when I've given this to Juliet. Oh yeah, sure. L Lava Florence explained all that to me. Okay, dokie. So we need to go back to Juliet now. I'm just going to read that. Quest log? Yeah. It's always good to double check, even if you do know what's going on. And now we need to go up the stairs, wherever the stairs, there you are. I see you hiding behind the wall. Who the hell shut that door? Disrespectful. Locking me out. There we go. Hi, Julia. I have an interesting proposition for you, suggested by Father Lawrence. It may be the only way you'll be able to escape from this house and be with Romeo. Go on. I have a Cadavar potion here, suggested by Father Lawrence. If you drink it, it will make you appear dead. Yes. And when you appear dead, your still and lifeless corpse will be removed to the crypt. Ooh, a cold, dark, creepy crypt. Sounds just peachy. Then Romeo can steal into the crypt and rescue you just as you wake up. And this is the great idea for getting me out of here? To be fair, I can't take all the credit. In fact, it was all Father Lawrence's suggestion. Okay, if this is the best we can do, hand over the potion. You pass the suspicious potion to Juliet. 
wonderful. I just hope Romeo can remember to get me from the crypt. Please, go to Romeo and make sure he understands. Although I love his gormless, lovelorn, soppy ways, he can be a bit dense sometimes, and I don't want to wake up in that crypt on my own. Ooh, cutscene. Ooh, here's Philippa, my cousin. She's in on the plot too. She's going to make it seem even more convincing. Yes, I'm quite the actress. Good luck, dear cousin. Right, bottoms up. Ugh. No, she's dead. Oh no, Juliet has died. You might be more believable if you're not smiling when you say it. <laughs> oh yeah, you might be right. Okay, let's try again. Oh no, Juliet has died? Perhaps a bit louder, like you're upset that like your cousin has died. Right, yes. Okay, okay. I think I'm getting my motivation now. Okay, let's try this again. Oh no, Juliet has died. Oh, oh, uh, Juliet, my poor dead cousin. What's all that screaming? Oh no, my poor daughter, what has become of you? Poor Juliet, make preparations for a body to be placed in the crypt. Okay, I'm sure it goes without saying, but I need to go back to Romeo. Yeah, okie dokie, let's go. Who the hell shut that door? I bet it was that guy. What a noob. Whoa, that is dangerous. So much fire. Ow! I'm burning my feet. What the fuck? What the f- who, who the hell is saying that? <laughs> what the hell? Right. Let's speak to Romeo. Romeo, it's all set. Julia has drunk the potion and has been taken down into the crypt. Now you just need to pop along and collect her. Alright, the potion. Great. What potion would that be then? The Cadaver potion? You know? The one which will make her appear dead? She's in the crypt. Pop along and claim your true love. But I'm scared. Will you come with me? Oh, uh, okay. Come on. I think I saw the entrance when I visited her last. This is pretty scary. Oh, be quiet. We're here. Look, Juliet is over there. Just examining her. Giving a full body exam. Hey. <laughs> you go over to her and I'll go and wait over here. Oh, okay then. Hey. Julia. Julia? Oh dear, you seem to be dead. Hi, Romeo. I'm Philippa. Wow, you're a fox. It's a shame about Juliet, but perhaps we can meet up later? Who's Juliet? Wait, what? Okay, so we've done the quest. Probably not dead, although Romeo is none the wiser. That is sick. Okay, so we've done this quest. I shall... Oh, wait, let's speak to Romeo first. Where is he? I heard Juliet has died. Terrible business. Her cousin and I are getting on well, though. Thanks for your help. So she's actually died? What? Hold on. She can't actually be dead for real. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, let's wrap the episode up here. It has been a very interesting quest, so to speak. In fact, let's speak to Philippa. Apologies. I know I'm trying to close this video down. Yeah, she's back. 
Hello, I seem to be getting on really well with that dashing lovely dovely Romeo. Pity about poor Juliet. She missed out there, I reckon. But she's right here, what? I sat in that cold crypt for ages waiting for Romeo. The useless fool never showed up. And all I got was indigestion. I am done with men like him. Now go away before I call my father. Okay, right. One last thing, one last thing, one last thing. We need to speak to the father, see what he says. I suppose you're quite pleased with yourself now. Okay, dokie, that's just it. Alright, let's go to the balcony and end the episode. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace. Oh no. You can cut with him. He can't die. Whoa. Oh, Frit. They're everywhere. What are they doing? What the fuck? I, I don't even want to question what that is right there. Hello, sexy. Are you friendly? Ah! Oh, Julius! Julius again! Special guy! Which one? Julius? Or Julius? Well, 